G'day guys and welcome to 1985, a much simpler time. My cars still had carburetors, Nintendo just came out and kids around the world were playing Mario Brothers and Zelda, the very first Zelda. And we didn't have taut liners, so it was back to the days of loading up your freight like this and then climbing up the very top there and rolling out your tarp. So the important thing with this one is it's very fragile and light freight. So I actually want to protect it as much as I can. That's where the tarp comes in handy. So you put your straps on, angles where you can, like so, down the back, and then you roll your tarp out over the top. I probably don't want to do it too tight because all that stuff there, that's foam. You can literally kick that further than a football just about. No, bear with us. Yes, it'd be a lot easier to just shut some curtains and be on my way, but no, we like to make a challenge for ourselves here in 1985, don't we? Cheers. Okay, so now we move on to the part where I'm bound to get scrutinised by many, many people about how the process I am of doing this and exactly how it is and blah, blah, blah. Point out, I don't tarp that often. I used to back in the day, but not so much now. It's probably once or twice a year, but what you start off with, pull your two corners in, I've actually, the pellets are pretty sharp there, so I don't want to go under it. So I'm actually going on top, which will make it a little bit uglier. Just the fact that it's a uh, not a very straight load, it's not gonna look great at, as an end result either. So we'll get that one across there. We'll do the back, pull that one tight. That'll be a bit easier because it's square. And the whole idea is to get your whole bottom of your tarp there, nice and straight and tight. And you pull over your, your front corners, try and make it as square as possible. You may have to make a pig ear, I probably will have to. And then a few ropes at the start, a few ropes at the back, do the other side and you just keep rotating around. And see how we go. Like I said, absolute dog's breakfast this front is gonna be, but it's come up all right. So there you go, I've done a bit of a pig's ear to try and uh, get some of the slack and I've got a tire poking out and all sorts of stuff there, but overall, got it. Half relatively straight, considering I'm only going 600 k's, I'm not going to put the greatest of efforts into it. But we we'll head down the back here, and I mean, all this stuff's pretty easy. Just uh, do that up relatively tight, and we should be sweet. So at the back here, nice, just flaps over, and you just make a square. Oh, here we go, the puppies come to say hi. G'day, puppies, how are you? Did you get away, did you? Did you get away? That'll do, I think. We've done pretty well here, I suppose, considering don't have a headboard, don't have a backboard. We've got ramps. It's a 48 footer and it's only a 45 foot tarp. Plus we had all that garbage there to work out with. I'm still not thrilled with that. We'll get down the road a little bit and I may have to adjust it depending on if the wind wants to get into it. But that's about the best we're gonna get for now, I dare say, without putting an extra couple of hours in, into it. So that took about eight hour. Um, for your, your standard stuff, that's pretty well how you want it looking on the back. It is uh, a nice square shape. There you go. So yeah, you, you put your corners across, pull out the inside, and rope them off, and then just uh, work up, work down. Same going along. See, this side looks so much better, doesn't it? Yeah, might have to spend the whole day just overtaking people so they see this side rather than the other eight. Anyway, you may have learned a thing or two about tarping. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that looks at this and goes, Tone, you have bloody embarrassed yourself. And I'm not going to argue with that. But it's going to stay dry. It's going to get there and the freight's going to be safe. So that's a win to me, I see.